Welcome back to Decent Coffee Every Day. Today I am going to compare my Easy Presso K Plus with my P100 as far as the grind goes. I'm going to be doing a pour over. Uh, stay tuned if you'd like to find out if it makes a difference and which one I, will, I prefer. Let's get to it. Alright, let's go back to uh, doing side by side comparison. This one's a little bit warmer. First one with the P100, and this one is with the Espresso Easy 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 Presso uh, Plus K Plus. Okay, the P100 is, it's a little more astringent and bright. Uh, it has a little bit more bitterness. The Easy Presso has more of a, a well-rounded, uh, smoother uh, taste and uh, body as far as I can tell. Out of the two today, I do prefer the Easy Presso over the P100, and I used uh, the lowest RPM, so 200 RPM uh, with the 98 millimeter high uniformity SSP burrs. Uh, it's definitely not as as tasty. Like the Easy Presso is just a little more. smooth less acidic it's a bit more I would even say maybe more fruity even yeah this one's just yeah that's really surprising that a conical burr does a much better job in my opinion uh, with this specific coffee with this brew Yeah, it's like it's like the flavors are more punchy, and at the same time, they're not overwhelming where it becomes bitter. This one, I feel like, is too much, and it just it, it ruins it because it just becomes more too astringent and too acidic, and it just overpowers the balance. Yeah, see, like that's almost like lemon. And this one is much more subdued, or at least the lemon aspect. It 
it's like well-rounded it's got all the flavors I'm gonna taste the bergamot peach and mayor lemon uh, I'm using the uh, passenger agaro it's uh, Ethiopian and I'm getting all of these taste notes with the uh, easy presso uh, with the P100 So a lot more lemon with the acidity added. Yeah, out of the two, the K Plus wins, in my opinion, as far as my taste goes. Uh, it could be different from everyone, but uh, let me know what you use for your pour overs and what you like better. Uh, have you ever compared them? Uh, it would be interesting to hear from you guys. Uh, any suggestions would be interesting to hear uh, that you use for your pour overs. But surprisingly, I concluded with this test that like a $200 hand grinder might outperform a $3,000 flat bar just because it's it's just different and brings out different notes uh, with this specific coffee at least uh, can't really say it with every coffee but with this specific test I definitely prefer the the hand grinder well thank you for watching and if you liked please like and subscribe share uh, there's more videos to come I have a few grinders on the way, so stay tuned and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting. So take it easy and enjoy your coffee.